ASU suffered a heartbreaking two-point loss this past Saturday to the Pac-10 opponent California Golden Bears. The Sun Devil season hasn't turned out how fans expected and times only look to get tougher over the next two weeks. ASU hosts USC this weekend and then, then the Devils travel up to Eugene, Oregon to take on the conference leaders. Both the Ducks and the Trojans squared off in Austin Stadium last Saturday night in what looked like to be the Pac-10 matchup of the year. It was the Oregon Ducks all night long, though, giving the Trojans their second Pac-10 blemish of the season in embarrassing fashion, 47 to 20. USC usually bounces back from a tough loss like that, and the Devils happen to be next on their radar. I mean, that program isn't where it's at. Why not coming back and fight like it happened? I mean, they'll come in. The game should be an interesting one, though. ASU still needs two wins to become bowl eligible with four games to go, while USC looks to be out of the national championship talks with games remaining on their schedule for the first time in a long time. Game, ki game kicks off at 5 p.m. Saturday night. Should be a big game for the Sun Devils, but there is no bigger game over the next few nights than in the sport of baseball. The New York Yankees had a chance to clinch their 27th World Series championship last night but the champagne would have to remain on ice. And it would be by the hands of Philly's second baseman, Chase Utley. He hits a three-run bomb in the first inning off A.J. Burnett. Utley would not be finished, though. He hits another long ball in the seventh inning off pitcher Phil Koch. It would be Utley's fifth homer of the World Series, tying Reggie Mr. October Jackson himself for most home runs in the Fall Classic. The Yankees would tack on a few more runs to make the game interesting, but the Phillies would close out the game 8-6. The Yankees and the Phillies traveled back to New York today and are going to play game six tomorrow night at 6 o'clock Arizona time. Both teams announced earlier this afternoon who will start for both respective sides. Pedro Martinez will go for the Phillies, while Andy Pettit will look to lock down the series for the Bronx Bombers. Now, switching to the high school level, it's hard enough for an athlete to earn a varsity letter in any sport, let alone football or even baseball. But Gina Mizell caught up with one high school team that's truly one of a kind. For high school athletes, earning a varsity letter in cycling isn't possible. That is, unless you're someone like Nick Thorpe. He rides for Notre Dame Prep in Scottsdale, which is the only high school in the country to recognize cycling as a varsity sport. Some kids laugh, but I mean, it just it just takes a lot, a lot of guts to do it. Go! Mike and Lisa Colin took over the Notre Dame program just over a year ago. There's nothing really more exciting for us. And while the veteran cyclists have had plenty of success in their own careers, they say coaching young riders is even more rewarding. Lisa and I have both raced. We've had our, you know, our share of victories, uh, but it's far more fun to watch them. Develop. The Notre Dame club features five members this season that train year round. Most of their practices focus on technique, speed, and efficiency. The cyclists train in areas of the valley like this, where the roads are virtually surrounded by deserts, but they won't be bothered by too many cars. And even though some of these workouts start in the early morning hours, they say it's all worth it. Just being out here because I like to ride bikes, so just being on two wheels is fun. Notre Dame riders have captured numerous state titles since the club began, and now the goal is to help the sport expand to other high schools around Arizona. I think more people should try it out because I mean, not many people really have heard of like the whole cycling atmosphere and everything, but just a lot of fun. New kids should try it sometime. These high school sure. riders prove you don't have to be Lance Armstrong to find success on a bike. In Scottsdale, Gina Mizell, Cronkite Sports. Now before I head out of here, the Suns are about to tip off against the Miami Heat, game one of a tough five-game road trip against Eastern Conference teams with the likes of Orlando and Boston. But that's it for tonight on the Sports Report. Let's send it back to the Anchor Desk.